Hey everyone, so Bloxburg is officially going free to play. It's been confirmed by Hey Bloxburg. They did make a video about it. I will link it in the description of this video so that you can watch it and see the official video for yourself. And if you have not subscribed to Hey Bloxburg on YouTube yet, definitely go ahead and do that because you might be seeing more of those videos in the future where we take a look at the future of Welcome to Bloxburg. Now, anyways, getting into the video, this is a pretty big announcement. Some people are very much against it. Other people are are cheering it on. It's definitely something that will divide the community but it is gonna happen nonetheless and it's gonna end up being better for the game. So we're gonna go over some things that were discussed in the video. So first of all let's get the biggest thing out of the way. Bloxburg going free to play. It is confirmed. It's no longer a secret. It is going free to play. A lot of updates that have happened right now have contributed to getting ready to going free to play. Such as the athletic skill, the burger job and more of course course. Now, one massive concern is that a lot of players are scared it will impact their gameplay, where they will be the only old player in the game with a massive house and then there will be a bunch of starter houses around with a lot of players coming to that big house asking for money, asking to be adopted when you just want to build. And that might happen. There might be some cases where it gets annoying. It used to happen when the game was quite new and we still had a lot of players who were new as well. But I don't think it's gonna be as much of an impact as some players think it's going to be. A lot of people come to Bloxburg to build. They don't say anything. They have their chat closed. If you are in build mode, just ignore them, I guess. If you don't want to interact with people, other people will love to be able to help new players and actually show them their house. And that brings me to my next point is that you can flex again. Like there used to be a time in Bloxburg where if you had a certain car, I think it was the Bloxy Voyage, which was like $25,000. If you had that, you were seen as like super rich and fancy. And I I think some of that may come back again where some players will be able to flex on other players and I mean it's something we all want to do at one point to show off like I've been in this game for years and I have this really fancy car and millions of dollars and you're new so look at my stuff I guess. But yeah you can flex again so that's that's a fun thing but I don't think going free to play is going to have as much of an impact on you personally as some people may think it will. When we were new to the game, even if we paid access, we also didn't go to other players and ask for like their fridge or to roleplay with them or whatever. It's gonna be the same thing now. They're gonna ask you, they might ask you. If you say no, they'll just move on. It's not gonna be that big of an issue. And I also need to clear up that Bloxburg did go free to play earlier this week for about 20 minutes. That is not related to development at all. That happened like at 11 p.m. for us during a weekend. We did not expect that. No one of us pushed a button <laughs> or anything like that. That was a Roblox issue. We don't know why that happened but it just happened and people were asking us to comment on like going free to play and stuff but we were already working on this video or at least Mary was working on this video because she did all the work for it. That was not related and that was not planned and that definitely scared us a little bit for the consequences it might have <laughs> because we did not intend on going free to play and yes as some people have said <laughs> the word Work chat was indeed going quite wild at that time. <laughs> Something else that was mentioned in the video is a tutorial. So basically when a new player joins the game, as you remember when you joined Bloxburg there was nothing. You just had to learn everything yourself and it was kind of hard at the beginning. Right now we're looking into adding a tutorial to the game and that tutorial should help new players get more of a feel for Bloxburg and how it works. So again coming back to the fear of being interrupted more or free players ruining the game. There's a tutorial now that should help. If someone's being annoying, just say you should have done the tutorial. You can do the tutorial, something like that. Then there's another concern around hackers. Now Roblox has improved a lot when it comes to hackers and exploiters. And we have a lot of systems in place to detect exploits as well. So we know that there is a risk that there might be more exploiters, that it's easier to get an account and get into Bloxburg. But the system has gotten a lot better now and it shouldn't affect the game that much. It's not going to be that bad. It's not going to be filled with exploiters because Roblox got a lot better at detecting that so they should be banned immediately once they like start exploiting. Whereas before, yes, it was kind of wild with all the bots joining and stuff, but it isn't like that anymore. Then there were also talks about a reward for buying early access. Now, <laughs> one of the most questions you see when a video talks about Bloxburg going free to play is players asking like, will I get my Robux back? I want my 
my Robux back. I feel scammed. I paid for this game. And it's 25 Robux, which I mean, it's 25 Robux, you guys. But a reward is mentioned in the video. So there will be some sort of reward for playing early access. Getting your Robux back would bankrupt the game and there would be no blocks perk. So if that's what you want, then yeah, I, I would definitely think again, uh, you paid for early access. You got into the game early, but there will be some sort of reward as mentioned in the video on Hey Bloxburg. And then lastly, the video also talks about a map expansion. Now, if you are an old player, you do remember the first map expansion. The Bloxburg map used to be very small and players were asking for the map to be bigger <laughs> and Coeptus at the time just added like a massive highway at the back of the map that had like one building and a campsite. And players were so disappointed at the time. <laughs> so it would be funny if there's just another highway added at the end like it's just another long road i don't think that will happen i think we're getting an actual expansion this time that's being actually planned out and not just a massive hallway to make the map bigger that no one is actually gonna use i remember being quite upset about that map update my goodness <laughs> that was a long time ago anyways but yes blogsburg is going free to play there's no way around it if you're against it i was too at first i was being very negative towards it honestly looking deeper into it i don't think it's gonna be as bad as we think it is and it gives a lot of other players the chance to just play the game try the game without buying access to it and if you don't want to participate in role plays then don't participate in role play oh and there's also talk about new pre-built houses in the video it mentions a pre-built house catalog that will allow you to have your own dream house within a click so we're definitely getting something there some new pre-built houses or whatever it could be but we're definitely getting something there and it's high time that the pre-built houses get some love because they've been there since 2016 some don't even have ceiling lights i mean it's time you know it's like it needs to happen but to quickly summarize no the game is not free to play today again it is not free to play today a lot of players seem to be confused after that video we're not releasing free to play like today tomorrow next week it's gonna be in a couple of updates we are working towards it if you are against it that's fine i would try not to stress about it too much and think of worst case scenarios before it's even happened i would wait and see if you don't like it you can always ask a friend to get a neighborhood together or ignore the players that are bothering you i don't think it's gonna be that bad to be honest and then something will be done about the pre-built houses you can flex again and they are talking about a map expansion whatever that could be but that was the video for today definitely let me know what you think of Bloxburg going free to play now that it's officially confirmed why are you for it why are you against it are you celebrating it or are you sad thank you guys so so much for watching hit that like button and please subscribe